everyone with Keychain. Today we have update 6.19.0. So we've got the new High Seas Curiosities uh, and some warm-up events for the anniversary celebration that's coming out. Now before we get started, I'm doing a push for 2,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider hit the subscriber button um, and like the video. It'll help uh, push it up uh, the list on the YouTube algorithm. So uh, the other thing I want to talk about is I will be doing a giveaway on this video so there will be a link in the description for a website called Geed uh, and I'll be giving away uh, Amazon coins for the US Amazon App Store. Uh, so if you are in the US or if you know somebody who is you can enter the giveaway and win some coins. Okay so let's get into the curiosities. That's what everybody wants to see first. So, new curiosities. I'm going to hit the curiosity showcase and check these out. So, huge stack gains, again, of course. Um, going from the legendary of Valkyrie to the basic of the new high seas is an increase. So, it's an increase of like 80%. But if you're like me, I'm down here at like flawless and rare. So when I upgrade, it's going to be like 500%. Um, the other thing that I really like when they do these is, and, and look at the legendary on this, 3,400 for the individual troop stats, and then 1,143 for the troop stats. So that's huge. Um, but I will be doing honor chests in this cycle because when you go to the honor chest, they give away curiosities, they give away the full item. So these are the really good ones, uh, and there's only eight of these items. So it's really easy to get lucky and get two of the same and save yourself 200 scrolls. So if you are a gambler or you do like to um, get in on some honor chest action, this is one that I you know recommend taking part in. Okay, next on my list, uh, the anniversary warm-up and all of the stuff that's coming. So anniversary celebration starts in five days and seven hours. So basically a week from now. Um, and you can automatically exchange this GOG fourth anniversary um, code by clicking the exchange button. And then the other thing, Lucky Stars starts tomorrow. So Lucky Stars event, get some extra badges, a little bit of gold, some speed ups. Um, there's this anniversary feast um, monthly card. So I purchased this. It's four dollars and ninety nine cents for me. I think these are worth it. I think these are one hundred percent worth it because um, just like the recruitment banners alone would be somewhere around. You know, they sell thirty for a dollar, but it also comes with with resources. So I'd say they're worth about 60 cents for 30 banners. So that's half the value in the card just from the recruitment banners. And then the other items in here easily make up the uh, the difference. So I think these cards are worth $5, but that's just my personal preference. Um, and I just wanted to cover it. Uh, next thing, Blackbeard's Request. So this is a gathering um, quest. So every day gathering what 3.6 million resources to gain some extra scholar scrolls resources etc the other thing that um is interesting about this and they just did this one a little while ago with a different name is there's a leaderboard but it's not a kingdom leaderboard it's like a cluster so when i look on here i think it's like kingdom 520 to 530 based on what i see um so there's a lot of people in this leaderboard. And you can see, I gathered overnight, so I gathered 5.3 million um, resources, but I'm in rank 347. So I'm nowhere near where I need to be for this top 100. Uh, I do have instant gather, so when this comes up, that'll jump me up the leaderboard. And as long as I keep myself gathering um, most of the day, I should be able to get up there. I'm actually gonna be able to try for this one. Um, the last time it came up, they had so many stamina events going on. I had my marches out doing stamina stuff like the whole time. So I was nowhere near the leaderboards. It just, the timing didn't work. Uh, the other thing you could see in here is they've got decorations up all over the place. There's balloons and banners and flowers and presents and all that stuff sitting around here. So 
you know, they changed the, uh, the stuff inside. Now, one of the other things they said in the patch is they updated or they optimized the um, Underworld gates, uh, New World. Um, what else did they say? Ultimate Alliance campaign. So we can't see all of those right now. Um, I think we have to wait to see the, the change. But if I was going to... Oh, nope, there's Valkyrie Curiosities in here now. So I think that they were still Kingmaker before. <clears throat> I could be wrong. But it looks like they put in the Valkyrie, which makes sense since it's one tier down from the new. So join New World, uh, even if you're not going to participate, and you'll get some, some Valkyrie Curiosity handbooks for your, um, your main or your farms or whatever you're joining with. Okay, um... The next thing that I kind of wanted to mention is they snuck a new character into the game, a new guard. Uh, it's not an A-tier guard, but if we go into the recruitment section, we hit this little thing right here. See this this girl here, Catalina? So Catalina is a new guard. Um, she's an innovator, so that'll help with um, your <clears throat> recruitment or your um, guard appointment. And it looks like she uh, increases, you know, guard troop damage. She has cavalry. Um, she's a cavalry type guard. And she's got the uh, defection effect and also this ability forward charge that does damage if they're under defection. So, yeah, she's in there. I did. Uh, she's in standard recruit. So I did a couple of thousand earlier. I didn't get lucky. Uh, I'm probably going to blow through a lot of these. So I'm going to go through these 963,000 um, banners that I have of standard and just see if I can unlock her and, and get her maxed out, even though I'm not going to use her anywhere. So there she is, a uh, close-up of her. Okay, um, next thing I want to cover is just some of the follow-up stuff, like the time targets. This happens every time they do something new. Um, I only had 290 points this time, so that shows that my... Um, my curiosities are not so good, but you know I didn't quite even I didn't make it to this tier to get ten thousand gold. So all I got out of this one was was five k gold. Not great, but if you're gonna max yours all the way out, and you're one of those uh, the big spenders, there's a lot of gold to be had if you're maxing your stuff out during this week. Uh, final thing I want to talk about is these champion gifts. So. This event also comes around every time they have an update um, where they add new items. So for this one, um, this is just top-ups. This is the spending piece of the event. Um, spending, you know, as you increase, $100 is going to get you into this, you know, getting you some advanced celestial scrolls, some of the, the new high seas curiosity handbooks, uh, marquee badges. If you top up 105,000 gold, only $300, <laughs> You'll get a seven-day Hellhunter March. Um, and then the permanent March is way up here at 1.2 million gold. And then if you max it all the way out up here at 3 million gold, you get a second one with a gift envelope that you can send out to somebody. And of course, the, the gears. So the level 7 gear, the level 8 gear, those are very valuable to, um, to the big spenders. And then 500 Scholar Scrolls, like... I would take 500 Scholar Scrolls. I wish I could get up there for that. Um, I searched all the stores. Uh, I searched around. I did all kinds of stuff, and I could not find um, any hidden, any other hidden things. Um, there's some decorative stuff. So, like, the mermaid over here is now on her rock. So, instead of just being in the water, she's sitting up on the rock. But as far as switching mermaids, like, these are still locked. Um, haven't found a way to do that. Can't see their skills. So, I mean, we know their names. We just don't know how to unlock them yet. Uh, check the stores. One thing I didn't check was the mines to see if the mine level increased. But I check, did check all those stores and nothing changed. So, if you do find anything that, uh, that I missed, let me know in the comments. I definitely want to um, cover stuff when I can. Um, I guess final thing, they updated the store, so when you click the uh, gold store, they added it to the same kind of theme they've been moving towards with this really square 
um, UI and I mean it's clean it's definitely cleaner uh, but yeah it's it's one of those things that cool it's optimized but what do I actually get out of it okay um, I think that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching again remember to hit the like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and share the video tell your friends uh, let's get me to 2k subs all right, thank you.